Hi everyone! In this video I'm going to show you how to play the I Spy math game. The only thing we need to play this game is a deck of cards with the face cards and the jokers taken out. If you don't have a deck of cards, you can make your own number cards. You'll need 20 numbers. You can write 1 through 10 two times each. The first step is to take out 20 cards and line them up neatly so that you can see all of the numbers. Aces we can use as the number one. Here's what it looks like when all of my cards are set up. You need at least two players to play this game. The first player is going to pick two cards and have those cards in their head. Then the player makes up a true fact about those cards. You could say the sum of those cards by adding them together, or you could say the difference by subtracting. For example, I might say, I spy two cards whose sum is 19. Then the other player would try to guess which two cards the first player was talking about. I'm not playing against anyone, so you can take a guess. Do you see two cards that have the sum of 19? There are different combinations of 19 with these cards that are shown. If we add this 9 to this 10, we would get 19. But there's also a 10 up here and a 9 up here. So if my partner guesses the right two cards that I was thinking, then they get to keep them. These were the cards I was thinking. Then the next player gets to make their own I spy statement based on the cards that are left. Here's another example. I spy two cards that have a difference of one. That would mean if I took a bigger number and subtracted the smaller number, the difference is one. The answer is one. Do you see any possible matches to that statement? The difference between this eight and this nine is one because nine minus eight equals one. The difference between the eight and the seven is also one because eight minus seven equals one. The difference between the nine and the 10 would be one so there are a lot of different options that I might be thinking of. The cards I had in mind were this eight and this nine. So if you got that right, then you would get to keep these cards. Whoever had the most correct guesses at the end of the game when all of these cards are gone is the winner. Have fun.